Okay, this is a good one. Item number 10 is Waiora House extension construction of a new wing. Um, I'd actually like to ask Councillor Johnson to speak on this to start with. Well, this has been an ongoing, for, I think it's been in the annual plan for two years. It's, there's been quite a process involved and pleasing to see that um, we're moving forward and, and the ability to provide Waiora House more space. So basically run out of space for the social services they provide the community. About it's finally come to conclusion. So, so uh, one of the um, well beings of um, council responsibilities is social services, and uh, it is an annual, it is in our, it is in the next year's LTP. Yeah. It's just yeah. starting one July. For the last three years, it's yeah. really the LTP, it's in this year's annual plan and next year's annual plan. Yeah, which we had in there to extend and help with the extension of Waiwara House. So, um, does anybody else wish to speak on this issue, Mr. Minhina? Okay, well, um, there's a suggested resolution that the tender by J.R. Wade construction of $523,632 plus GST for the construction of a new wing at Waiora House be accepted, and His Worship the Mayor and the Chief Executive Officer be authorised to sign the contract doc documents, excuse me, and attach thereto the common seal. I'd ask for a mover. Councillor Johnson seconded Councillor Downard. All in favour? Aye. 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 I'm sure Waiora House is going to be very pleased about that. <coughs> Moving now to the uh, Lakeland Lions Club um, uh, uh, train uh, on the Tongariro domain. Anybody with Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Rawley? Uh, Welcome. Thank you. This is fairly self explanatory. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to think I don't need to go through it with you. Um, the Lakeland Lions have been occupying part of the domain for many years and this is essentially an extension of their existing rights for another six years. So if I may ask a question because I don't see any hands up straight away, we're in the year 2011, this expired back in 2009, so we're only actually, we're only renewing it till 31st of August 2015. Yes. We're only giving them a four year lease. It's, right. taken, it's taken them a little while to get to us and ask. Why don't we lease? just give them a longer lease? Oh, I'm sorry, Councillor right, Downer. <laughs> well, do you want to answer your <laughs> you question? Yes. Well, I think it goes in line with all the yeah, other leases, yeah. with all the other, and we did agree with that last time, um, right around our district, trying to get the leases to fall in place. But what I wanted to ask is, um, Alison, you might not be able to answer it, is with the commercial structure plan, there was talk of, you know, um, extending it or, um, you know, going down around by the uh, Yacht Club. Is there any... There's any no plans no to plans extend the operation like as far as I'm aware. This, this lease would just be for the existing operation. We're still, still in discussions with the Lions Club about about um, the, what, the trackless option. So it was, that, was, that option was a trackless train. Um, fundraising is their biggest issue, so we're, we're working with them. I'll move, move the resolution, okay, Your Worship. Councillor Hackley's moved. Are you seconding Councillor Kirk or questions? Yes, <laughs> second. Okay, I got myself confused there. That's right. So we have a mover, Councillor Hackley. We have a seconder and, and Councillor Kirk. All those in favour? How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Do you wish to speak to your report? If I might take a minute or two just to address More than three welcome. things. Um, Mr. Ward's going to join me, if that's all right. We're working together on the next two items. Right. Teamwork um, always pays off. Um, so, long-term plan 2022, that's where we're headed for. This paper has kind of three components. I thought we might just um, briefly discuss those. Um, at the bottom of page 12, we see project components. It talks about all the different elements of things that we're going to be working through with you in workshops and then various papers um, over the next three months. Um, and it goes through to, you'll see on 12 bar 2, a thing called the options, the right debate. Now, I'm assuming you've read the paper. I won't bore you with it. But these are all things we'll be workshopping with you. So that's kind of the components part of the story. The next part of the story, the bottom of 12 bar 4, that um, I really do need you to have thought about is um, the timelines, because you'll be well aware that we've got a heavy demand on your time for workshops, 
um, particularly in June. Um, and this is the, basically the reason why is so that we can get this um, draft long-term plan out for consultation before Christmas. Um, the views being expressed would be really good to go early and um, in fact I think possibly your worship wanted us to be number one. Not sure if we'll beat everybody but we're certainly going to be right at the front of the pack. And um, so that's, that's our goal. As long as you try. As long as you try. Yeah. It's lucky it's not running. You'd have no show with me there. But, um, but the, it does require this kind of basically a big process whereby we do a whole lot of work with you in June and then there's a whole lot of behind the scenes work we have to do to take all of where you've that got to to then go out to the community with what's called an options debate. And there's some very high level options that we will work with you on framing that we have to go and do um, a general consultation on. It's not a formal consultation that requires hearings and deliberations, but we've got a range of consultation methods we're going to use to get a, um, a sense of where that's going. This is, if you like, a, a more specific process than has been used in the long term plan before. And it's come through with the changes to the Local Government Act last year about transparency and accountability and financial sustainability. Um, so, yes, and then once we've been through that process in August, we then race back to the office and try and take account of it all in September so that we can get an actual draft long-term plan to you to adopt in October. It then spends at least, a, well, actually what it spends a month here, going through it all in very fine detail. And the goal is that we can then adopt that for consultation in early December. So that's, that's why there's such a very compressed timeline, but I thought I'd just kind of explain that. So that's the second point I wanted to address. And then the third point is really um, kind of the first substantive paper in developing the long-term plan, which is the strategic issues paper that is attached. And it's got lots of pretty pictures in it and some quite interesting stories. And um, I enjoyed writing it, so I hope you enjoyed reading it. Um, so perhaps, um, <laughs> perhaps um, yeah, <coughs> see where we go from there. Okay. Any questions, Councillors? Councillor Williams? Uh, you, you talk about, um, thank you very much for this, this great uh, presentation here. Um, Helen, you talk about um, the risks involved in not make, meeting the, you know, being at the front of the pack, but um, are you... Do you feel confident that you're going to be able to deliver the, um, uh, to have the standards required and, and really go through the process in that time frame um, to adopt the consultation by December? Um, I, I do believe we will. I think the, the workshops we've got planned in June uh, will enable council staff to make sure we fully understand um, the preferences and, and desires and dreams of council and so that we can then try and build that into the whole um, make sure that that gets built in to that. Now the extent to which we can do that means we're be most likely to have a fit so that when we ask you to adopt an LTP we've got something that makes sense to you you feel like this is your LTP not something the council officers magicked up in the back rooms. So I believe we can the only big risk would be if for any reason, I mean, I think it's unlikely, but if there was some very big um, variance between council's views and the community views as expressed in the options debate, then we would have to come back to you to go, how are we going to bridge this? <coughs> and most likely it would be an, a matter of timing. It would just be about how we phase different components. So I believe we can make it. Anything further on the way forward? for the LTP. That timeline similar to the last one we did though, isn't it? And, and weren't we and weren't we first last time? Could I try. <laughs> um, just one point I'd like to make is probably the um, one of the differences is the amount of work that you as a council will be doing this time will be heavier. And that's and in what respect to that? In terms of the workshops that we're going through, and the and this relates to, as Ms. Gilbert has been talking about, the new requirements in relation to the Local Government Act, they will require you to be um, a lot more engaged with this process, and hence the, the heavy workload. And that's that's really one of the things that we just wanted to, to draw your attention to. So um, those expos we did at the Great Lakes Centre and all the halls and everywhere we went, they how 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 do, how, would, how do we do more than that? that what do you envisage? Um, 
I'm pointing directly to the, the number of workshops that you as a council will need to have uh, and the decision points that you will need to have along the, the steps of the process. So how many workshops are you envisaging in the likes of June? Um, I believe there's one, two, I believe there's three. And that's the, that's the heavy workload? No, it continues on, Your Worship. Right through until Dece basically until December there, and this and as you'll see on page 12 bar four, that's what we're referring to. So, that doesn't um, give the number of workshops. Though I mean, I'm just trying to find out about this increased workload. So June is three workshops. Yes. July is how many workshops? I wouldn't expect there to be more than one. I remember the last training, we had three workshops a week. We haven't uh, formalised all of the workshops, that it, partly because we don't know what you're going to tell us yet. And so there's an element of we're not quite sure. Like I'm some only, things... I'm only asking the questions because there's six or seven new, new councils around here. Haven't done an LTP, which it was called an LTTP or something, I think now called an LTP before, so I'm just trying to pre-warn, and even myself, how much time are we actually talking? If we're talking three workshops in June, that'll be the least amount of workshops I've ever been into in a June. Well, that's only for LTP. You may well yeah. have a great deal of other workshops to do all the rest of your council business. <laughs> Liberations. <laughs> Liberations on the end. Okay, moving then to 12 bar 6 of the suggested re uh, resolution. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, do you want to speak or yeah. speak? Sorry, sorry Councillor Truman. Sorry, I was just wondering, on page 7 of 17 of the prefecture, could, we, could the first sentence be changed? So I just think um, something about low, you know, because of um, low socioeconomic, therefore there could be some risk of poor education and employment outcomes. thought that that could potentially be taken. Yes, I, I hear what you're saying, um, and it wasn't meant in a judgmental yeah. way. Um, I just That's wonder if we way. might find a way to reword that, because there is a direct correlation there. Yeah, okay. I, I can live with that if Council's happy with that. Would you like a change to Council Trim? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to think on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, in line 2 on 7 bar 17, if instead of saying most of whom are Māori, we'll say most of whom are from low socioeconomic groups. Where's all the macrons gone off the O's? Okay. Uh, Rick, through to you. Oh, sorry, Henderson. Um, just 12 bar 2, just a question regarding the timelines. I see here, count, Council has a workshop scheduled in June to develop its options, and these need to be formally adopted by the end of June. So am I correct in my understanding that um, we'll have uh, up to three workshops in June to sort out what our input is into the long-term vision of the of council for the next three years with a long term plan is that the the timeline as I understand it with that input we've already had some workshops yeah. addressing that so those will be um, focusing on some technical elements of the long term plan this asset management yeah. and development contributions as well as your vision for the options those right. three workshops they're not all on yep. um, options there's a range of technical issues we have to cover with you yep. okay thanks. Further questions? None. Any, have a mover anywhere? Move. Move. Councillor Johnson, second. Councillor Williams. Those in favour? Aye. Aye.